Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see full wave rectifier circuit working and waveforms. Also see full wave rectifier with capacitor and without capacitor filter. In the full wave rectifier, we have two types. One is center tapped full wave rectifier. Another one is bridge rectifier. So here we are discussing the center tapped full wave rectifier. In the center tapped full wave rectifier, as the name itself says, the secondary coil of the transformer is tapped in between at the center. And we are splitting the secondary coil as two parts like this. So the primary coil will be given with an AC signal. This AC signal will be of 240 volts. And here the transformer which is using is going to step down the voltage from 240 volts to the less voltage. Depending on the number of turns, it is converting this into 12 volts, 12 volts like this. This center tapped full wave rectifier will be having two diodes D1 and D2 connected in this manner. You can observe the secondary coil one end will be connected to D1 and the other end is connected with D2. And the center tap here what we have will be the reference we are taking for measuring the output and also for giving the input we can say from the secondary coil. So this is the negative terminal for the output measurement. Across RL we are going to measure the output. So here there is no connection. So we need to have a circuit like this. So D1, D2 are going to behave in such a way that D1 will be on, otherwise D2 will be on. So let us look at the working. This circuit will be for the positive half cycle of the input is applied. When positive half cycle of the AC input is applied, what happens? Here in the secondary coil, we are going to get the signal like this. So that's why we are indicating this is positive end, this is negative end. This becomes positive, this becomes negative. So this D1 diode becomes forward biased. Because of forward biasing, we say this is on, this will allow the current to flow in this direction. And this D2 diode, will be having a PN regions like this. Negative terminal or the P region connecting to the negative voltage. So this is off or reverse biased we can say. So because of this is off and this is on, the current is flowing in this direction, flowing through RL in this way and come back to the negative terminal like this. So this region will not conduct any current. So across RL if you measure this is the direction of current flow and this is the voltage we are going to get as we see in the input side. What happens when the negative half cycle of the input is applied? This is the negative half cycle of the input we are applying. So this is minus, this is plus. So here also we are going to get minus plus, minus plus like this. So this is the signal we are getting here. Similarly, this is the signal we are getting. So this diode becomes reverse biased. This is the P end we are getting negative voltage, this is N end. So here D2 becomes forward biased, why because this we are getting a positive voltage, this conducts. So the direction of current flow will be through D2 and it will reach us this point and through RL the current will flow back to the negative terminal. This is the current flow and there is no connection here as I said this center tap will be connected like this. Right? These two are having no connection. Here also this center tap will be like this. That's why here also in the negative half cycle of the input is applied, the current flowing through RL will be in the same direction. If we measure the output across this, again it will be a positive output like this. So if you look at the output of the full wave rectifier, this is like this at the output, even if the negative half cycle of the input is applied as a in. So we say in the full cycle the diodes conduct and full wave rectifier is going to generate the full cycle output. And this full wave rectifier output is better than the half wave rectifier what we have seen in the last video. And this is how it is going to work. In the first half of the input you can see this diode conducts and it is generating the output. When, when the negative half cycle of the input is applied, 
this is what the negative half cycle of the input is applied d2 is conducting and again the current flowing through the rl in the same way this is going to generate so you can now clearly observe in the positive half cycle the current is flowing through rl in the same direction even in the negative half cycle of the input is applied the current is flowing through rl in the same direction so if you measure the output across this we are going to get the two peaks like this and if you see the complete waveform it will be like this this is the input signal ac this is the pulsating dc which we have converted it will be having two positive peaks for the positive and the negative half cycle of the input and this is with capacitor filter if we put one capacitor over here parallel to rl what happens this capacitor is going to charge to the maximum value of the voltage and then it will keep its charge until the next positive half cycle uh, sorry next half cycle of the input is coming so in the positive half cycle you can see this is without capacitor the output will be like this but once the capacitor is connected capacitor will be charged to the maximum value and by the time the next half of the signal means the negative half cycle of the input comes into picture it is holding its charge and again it will be charging again it will slightly discharge but compared to the half wave so half wave rectifier with capacitor filter this gives more meaningful output here the ripples are less and this will be called as a pulsating dc output of the full wave rectifier and with the extra filter circuitry we can eliminate these ripples also and a smooth output will be a dc output we are going to get as output this is full wave rectifier with capacitor filter where the center tap full wave rectifier is connected in the next video let us see bridge rectifier where the same kind of output is going to be generated but we are connected with four diodes thank you